scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, there is someone here in politics. The power of God is coming on you. I'm not, I'm not a politician, I don't play politics, I'm a man of God, but I love politicians, I love great people, I don't run away from them, we are sent to minister to them, but there is a politician right now, I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person, just hold the person, I want to prophesy, if that is the woman, just hold her, I want to speak to her, because I'm seeing her climb a ladder, there is a strange political door that is about to open up for her, listen this is the house of god it's impossible to come here and return back minister dunsin already told us here yeah, i am that i am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her i don't know who she is but just help her please that's all right we are hold that there please don't worry you don't have to just keep her there. You don't have to lift her. Just keep her there. Madam, we respect you. We do not insult your pedigree in any way. It's just to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king, priest, prophet formation. The king, priest, prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here, politically, may my God lift you to the next level. May my God lift you to the next level. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. -O. What's your name? Huh? Give please. Is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. May that door be opened now. Yeah. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media help us. I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, 
Shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? I'm in Africa from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I'm in Zana not... from England. I write to you. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm saying. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says, even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are in ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You're in ministry. We're going to pray. There will be a massive deliverance here right now. Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I, I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace you will return back and the work will begin to speak in the name of jesus christ as powerful as jesus is he needed john to open his heavens even if you are a midwife there are times that you will not be the one to give birth you will need somebody to help you are we together now let's pray at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus inside here, following online at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflows. Just bring them out. Those at the balcony, please be careful so that you don't just fall from there. Are we together now? Father, you anointed us and you called this a miracle service. 
there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command every power I command every force, bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and giving him a name an office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now we're still praying please bring them out shagapakatos some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of god is going to come upon you but it's not just for yourself it's for your entire family lord every family represented here makatos keba that is under any kind of yoke i declare by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ that yoke is broken now broken now broken now broken now me there are people here every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah, we're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years. Many years. Suddenly, suddenly God is bringing it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, 
I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers. And God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things, not people, things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration. This is resurrection. There are some of you, they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses. I call upon my God. Everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise. Conclusions made over your family. I call upon my God, who is your God. Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Talita Kumi, that which is dead, come back to life. Help them, please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes, Where? In Kuba. I'm selling gas. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, refilling of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't turn. But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. Just saw light in the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. There's a, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They say that a river, a river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, that river. It will bring in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is signing up? Where are you coming from? But not say What do you do, man? Come. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing you 
this is 13 years even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of jesus christ help her please praise the lord why is she here your name is zainab you too huh i'm a muslim you called me last week you are a muslim it doesn't matter you're welcome this is god's house huh there's no prejudice god bless you whether we love everyone buddhist muslim whatever you are you just come one guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came that's the deal but you are welcome you come the way you are i want to pray for you zainab in the name of jesus christ may the lord bring a visitation for your family a supernatural visitation everyone trusting god for a job i just saw something now please believe hmm. you are trusting god for a job wherever your job is in the name of jesus christ may god take you there right now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead some of you by this time next week i stand by the god of my covenant and i declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we're going to pray for the sick shortly i'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you're a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no there's once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are we love our workers you are faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is was not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we're limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. 
Now, madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady, or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Do you do Hallelujah. My dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare. And I also pray for you. Also, civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God. And you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray. Because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, you have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you in the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you're doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We're going to, I'm seeing a strong anointing. Sir, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir, this is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. They say that it's cancer and they're going to operate it so that you won't talk again. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I got it. There's something that is on truth that this is. This is what I'm saying. I'm, and they, they is cancerous. I'm going to operate him and there's no, 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 Saturday. 
He said, sir, sir, I don't know. So I'm running around for God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir, or over your children, or over your parents, I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus, that thing is destroyed now. Destroyed now. Destroyed now. Help them. Destroyed now. Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now he's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we'll not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir, come again. So that is either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say, I'm Apostle Joshua Selman, I am this our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with god carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with God don't ask God to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he would do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you. My people have prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria. Um day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now please listen we have to do it very fast because i know your prayer requests are here by the way if you are yet to write it please make sure that you do so quickly but i'm going to minister to the sick right now and when i pray for you all the overflows outside following online maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed death sentence about to go i want you to believe jesus Hallelujah. 
as soon as I pray for you, listen please, the power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are overflow one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you'll bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know he touched me. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities. You don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, leave the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in jesus name be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. That thing that makes you to just shake, your body shakes. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. 
you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of god is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now The Lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as I'm spraying the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now 
check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinonia are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus creator of say keep coming keep coming all the overflows just allow those who are healed to come you're the name You are Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the. Do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you in the name of Jesus. Ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request those online i like you to keep faith we're going to pray and the power of god will touch you there yes very quickly please she said she has had it for over a month now but the pain is gone it's gone Ben. Yes. any pain any pain completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy ghost that anointing comes on you it perfects you in jesus name yes please you mentioned the knee camp challenge Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappears. So How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain. Our labs. Let us speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my labs for over three months now. And right now? Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Uh, so you gave a Hold on, please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The knee. Yes. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's gone. In the name of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coin? It looks like coincidences everything that is off balance in your life in jesus name restoration comes for it yes sir 2016 2016 yes sir your knee yes. and right now run you told me to do a surgery go ahead run check yourself any pain any pain just a little huh jump in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never never returns again by the power of the holy spirit yes you mentioned the case of someone that fell from the bay 
This is it. She had had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm seeing. Is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let her speak. When Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, when... what happened? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Take your time. Uh huh. This evening, when I came in, I had so much pains. I had to go to the medical, but he kept telling me it has, it has to take one month, four weeks for me to get well. And then I told him I was even, this evening I had an engagement. He said I should just keep, I don't know if it's outside, that I should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't get... Okay, what me. happened now? But now I feel a lot better. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare perfection. Perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. With a pain around the, the, the shoulder. shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Now. gone. Check yourself completely. My goodness. In the name of Jesus, it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Another case of me come healed. Mama, how long has it been? Uh, since on the second of uh, this month. Okay. I just came back from my mother's burial from the village the kneecap started and the same thing happened to my elder sister that i lost on the 13th of uh, january she came back from the village and this same thing led to her death anybody that digs a pit for you what happened to her man may it happen to them the rod of the wicked the bible says shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous mama be healed completely perfected in jesus name Yes, please go ahead. Cases of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region, they are both healed completely in the name of Jesus. A miracle for you, yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress and she, she's having a shortness of breath. And you, you are an actress. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location brand, and after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk a little, I start feeling weak inside of me so my pastor why gave me the clips your one of your clips to watch and in my dream you gave me sugar so i decided i told my pastor why everything and he asked me to come here to from come lagos. here yes, from lagos, lagos you came yes. and right now he's gone yes. make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife may the lord bless you and if she's watching the lord bless you ma and the lord honor you I decree and declare not only is God bringing perfection, even in your career, you will thrive, go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name. Ah, there's a miracle here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God. Oh God, people who saw me coming in, in fact, I had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate because I can't work with this without this. I How long? So much pain How long has it been? Last year, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains, like my hip was cut. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. So we have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain? Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a breakthrough in this room with my name Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. 
knee now all of you who have knee issues just place your hand there let me just seal your miracle by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus the son of the living god either here or here all of you together i declare healing for you perfection in jesus name yes Benga, go ahead he came here very very sick he said he had also pain so he went to the medicals they yes gave him drugs but he was still feeling it but immediately you mentioned i think we should celebrate our doctors they are doing an amazing work at the medical session very intelligent skilled people giving their heart and their all to the lord the lord bless you in jesus now name the pains are gone. completely the pains are gone yes sir. in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you mentioned the case but now she's no longer feeling it how long has this been i've been having it uh, for a very long time but ever since i started praying for my sister because she has a kidney yes sickle cell gallbladder stone so ever since i started praying for her i don't know whether they were just attacking me so anytime i take in that hotness will just remove the pregnancy so and sometimes i can't even my cloth just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body i can't i must open like because it's too hot that i need to get something cold to touch it but immediately you talked about healing so the the whole thing now started coming down it's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now, I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare for you and for your sister let there be a miracle right now yeah. and whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages we curse it by the God of heaven yeah. go and return back a joyful mother of children yeah. in Jesus name God bless you completely check yourselves all of you with shoulder issues in Jesus name we may just take two two and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let us know. Um, by the way, week, all week long, the media lines are opened. You can always register your testimony. And then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we're constrained by time. But it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured. Feel safe. To share your testimonies it doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all praise the name of the lord we'll see how god will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time testimonies are powerful they are attestations of the love the power the grace of god and we don't downplay them at all praise the name of the lord so let's take two maybe two each and then we'll just pray generally for the rest yes ma'am ah let us speak okay i had a lump on my shoulder here wow and it was really conspicuous and it was it just kept growing but it has shrunk completely give jesus praise <laughs> creative miracles by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name we declare every growth it leaves never to return in jesus name i pray give jesus praise the last person please back pain here. the pains are gone back pain back pain check yourself my dear any pain any pain completely gone in jesus name perfection for you by the power of the holy spirit yes sir thank you so much apostle you gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating wow how long has this been since 2019 2019 yes and I this was... has happened to you yes sir. and what happened to you now i went to the bathroom you went check. out to check yourself yes, I went it's to... gone come on koinonia In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is, she's been healed, her ankle, and she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then mama back in. Several testimonies, apostle. Oh, Hold and on. Every... I'm interested in this too. Our time is gone, but can I pray for you, madam? How long has this been? It started since March this year. Since March. Check yourself now. Any pain? completely gone i decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit god bless you yes madam 
since two years now, I have not been seen very well. And what couldn't you see? Everything. I always have severe pains in my eyes. Before I would sleep, I would always apply this uh, eye drop every night, every day, before going to bed. But today, I came with the severe pain, seriously. But after your prayers, everything just disappeared. I can't feel any pains anymore. Hallelujah. And I can see very well. You now. can see clearly. Very well. Place your hands on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, spiritually and physically, may you truly begin to see. In the name of Jesus, perfection for your vision. Now, I pray for all of you. I'm sure that many of you, thank you, by the way, for the courage to come intending to testify. For constraint of time, we may not be able to testify now, but I pray for you. Every miracle you have received, and those at the overflow, those following from whatever nation, in Jesus' name, it remains so. It remains permanent, never to return again. We declare that you are blessed now. You are blessed forever. In Jesus' name, I pray. Please rise up on your feet, stretch your hands here. We're about to pray. This is a very prophetic hour right now. Our time is gone, but please be patient. This is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests. Just stretch your hands towards me as I agree. We have a covenant of answered prayers with the Lord. If there are still more, please bring it quickly so that we have it here. Please begin to pray and decree and declare. These Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battle for me. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray Father, God of heaven, please pray You are receiving by faith, we are crying to the God of heaven Just pray In the name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to make our requests known let your requests be made known 
this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we are not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but I stand in the name of Jesus by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever every shame and every disappointment written here represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead it is turned to joy every closed door that is responsible for this request here we command those doors to be open now father i pray and call upon you who is the god of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now <laughs> that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you in this season, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the book of remembrance be opened now. If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. 
grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now can we pray over favor hmm. father upon your people the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ And everything you came with tonight as a point of contact, I declare by the Spirit of the Living God, whether it's a document, your credentials, whatever it is, I release my faith and I agree with you. Even as you have lifted it up, you remain lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach, we call it by name and we banish it from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, our time is gone, but we need Jesus. Please, if you can, I know that we've been standing for a long time. Let's minimize movement. Let's just honor these ones. The overflow outside, those in right to the basement, and those within this auditorium. There are people saying, Apostle, haven't seen what the Lord has done in this place. I know that my relationship with Jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to summon that courage to come and stand here Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming, quickly. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes. Keep standing. One minute, please, quickly, come and join them. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes to your will. I salute every one of you for the courage to come to Jesus. The Bible says as many who will come, please join them quickly. If you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that Jesus is my Savior I declare that Jesus is my Lord I declare that Jesus is my King I receive forgiveness of sin I receive the life of God I declare that I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this ones they have come in response to your love and I commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. I declare that you are partakers of the life of God. You are benefactors of the gift of righteousness, the abundance of grace. And you begin to reign from tonight, forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless you, the Lord honor you in Jesus name. Now very quickly, I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands with the placard. Please follow them very quickly. Let's celebrate them, Koinonia. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, 
from next week sunday we're going to start a very powerful series i remain committed by the grace of god to helping us understand the kingdom and to receive miracles is going to last the next two months and i want us to trust god for grace please to learn and then come to receive the grace it takes to demonstrate the reality of the things that we've heard have you been blessed tonight please rise up on your feet father in the name of jesus we declare that this week beginning we call it a week of victory in the name of jesus christ everyone who came here today you return next week a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ the bible says as they went they saw the miracles the 10 lepers now i declare that as you go everything you have not seen here you will see it before you get home and you'll see it before you return here next week the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name when we share the grace do well to say hello to someone by your left and right before you leave let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen god bless you. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you